There's a crowded field of challengers to Sanford Bishop in House District 2. Bishop, a Democrat from Columbus, has served 15 terms in Congress. Six Republicans are running, including Rich Robertson from Byron. Robertson recently retired from the Air Force. Ashlyn Webb explains why Robertson says he's in the race. I don't care what they call me. Uh, I'm going to stand up for the American people, and I'm going to stand up for what's right, and I'm going to stand up for what's godly. Lieutenant Colonel Rich Robertson retired as a JAG attorney after serving 22 years in the Air Force, including time in Iraq and Afghanistan. Now he wants to serve his country as congressman to Georgia's 2nd District. Robertson says two priorities are establishing energy independence for the U.S. and getting a grasp on inflation. We have the oil and gas in this country. We just got to tap into it. So at the same time we're killing energy, we're printing dollars like there's no tomorrow. It, it's a, if I wanted to destroy the country and our economy, I would not change a single thing that this current administration and Democrat-controlled Congress is doing. Robertson argues Americans' First Amendment rights are being taken away. He says he wants to protect free speech and religious liberties. We, we don't need a mommy and daddy government telling us what we can hear and what we can say. It's called the First Amendment, and the founders fought for it, and that's what this administration needs to give us is our First Amendment right. Robertson also wants to address education. He claims teachers are robbing parents of their right to control their child's education. We don't need teachers telling kids that they're the oppressed or the oppressor based on their skin color, which is what critical race theory does. We don't need teachers telling five-year-old children that they can be whatever gender they want to be and then keep that a secret from the parents. Um, this is abuse as far as I'm concerned. Reporting in Macon, Ashlyn Webb, 13W Amazing News. Early voting began May 2nd. The primary is May 24th.